when you work on a farm, you realize how different it is than even having a garden. The whole idea with farming is that you want to do it again next year. To make a living on a farm, you need to be efficient. You need to have a good quality product and build your reputation on that. So we want to grow a beautiful, high quality, number one carrot or leek or potato or parsnip or whatever we're growing so that the customer on the other end can really look at it and say, that's beautiful. The reality is when you pull a bunch of carrots out of the ground, some of them have actually twisted around uh, and they're wrapped around each other. That doesn't get sent to a grocery store. So when Compass Group approached us, they wanted to know, what do you do with all the stuff that you end up pulling out of your boxes if it's not you know, perfectly straight? And we told them, well, we just compost it. And they told us they were interested in, in buying some of the produce. They were sure that their chefs could work their magic with it. IDP stands for Imperfectly Delicious Produce. That's a good way to describe it. No offense to the vegetable. <laughs> it feels really good to know that, you know, all of this produce that we've been pulling off to the side and sending to the compost pile has a home now. As a chef, it's our responsibility to tell the story behind the food that we serve. For us to, to source a product like IDP from the local farmer, uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity. There's no reason why we shouldn't be using food because it's not pretty. The reality of this dish, you're going to get a dish that you would see in any restaurant and you would be happy to eat. It's a beautiful dish. And that dish came from a hideous overgrown leek. It's easy as a chef to forget about the farmer. So part of IDP is reconnecting the chef and farmer. If a farmer is being supported by a local chef, then a farmer is able to expand his business. Maybe he can grow a little more. Maybe he gets new equipment. Maybe he hires more people. We support the local economy a little more. The economy grows. We have more customers because more people have the means to purchase our product. And it's simply by using a product that would be thrown in the trash. And that's how we started. And that's just the base, the first step. So where do we go from here? <laughs>